Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Pick Animate, a desktop image animation app with which you can animate still images. Essentially, you can take a still image like this and animate it like so. Pretty cool, right? Here's another example of a still photo of a cat that I animated. It's a bit different from the first one. And here is a slightly different variation of the animation where I animated the fur of the cat. Here is a creepy one, a moving piece of juicy steak. How about that? Okay, so maybe that's not your cup of tea, but how about a latte? Well, I hope this gives you a pretty good idea of the possibilities. In a nutshell, this is how it works. You select an image, animate it, and finally download it. Okay, it's not exactly that simple. It does require some practice, but let me do a quick demo. So I've got the Pick Animation app open here, and as you can see, I've created a few animations. You start by clicking the Create New Animation button, give it a name, and then select an image, and click the Create button, and it'll then create a new file. You start by clicking the image, and it'll open up the canvas. Next, you add animation points using this tool in the menu bar, and then choose Add Points. Next, you can just draw the animation points on the image like so. As you can see, there are two points, one yellow and one blue. If I play the animation, you will see that it's stretching it towards the left. Similarly, I can apply another animation point on the right side, like so. Let's do a quick preview. The longer the lines, the more it's going to stretch. I can use this arrow icon in the menu bar and then choose Direct Select and I can then shorten these animation points like so. And if you preview it again, you can see that the stretching is much less. Let's add another animation point at the bottom and let's preview it again. Now, I don't like this default animation, so I'm going to change it under Animation Settings. And I'll change the mode from Round to Edge to Edge. And let's do a quick preview. As you can see, it just goes edge to edge. And it's much smoother. Now, in this image, I didn't mask anything. So let me just open another image that I created earlier. So first of all, you'll notice that I've added many animation points all over to essentially animate the fur in many directions. And if you preview it, you'll see what I mean. You'll also notice that the eyes and the nose has a pinkish overlay. And that is essentially the mask that I've applied using the brush tool in the menu bar. Basically, when you apply the mask, it will not animate those sections. In this case, because I masked the eyes and the nose, it does not animate those specific sections. Let me show you one more example. As you can see, this also is quite elaborate. I've applied quite a few animation points all over this image in the direction of the water and the hair to achieve this animation. And if I preview it, you can see it looks pretty cool. You will also notice that I've applied a mask to the girl's body as well as these two sides here. I will be creating a more in-depth walkthrough and demo tutorial but hope this gives you a pretty good idea. So once you're happy with the animation, you can then go and export the file as an MP4, MOV, 
JPEG or PNG sequences, a GIF or FLV file as well. Initially, when I beta tested this Pic Animate app, I thought it was similar to another image animation app I use called DP Animation Maker, but it's not, so I'm not even going to compare it. At launch, you can get Pic Animate for a one time cost for lifetime access, but I'm told that they plan to switch to a monthly or yearly recording plan. It could cost $39 a month for the personal license and $69 per month for the commercial license. For more details on Pic Animate, check the link in the description section.